Yes, uh, hello farmers and our dear viewers, Julius here again and uh, today I want to speak uh, something about uh, how and where to get your breeding stock and uh, or what you'd call the parent stock if you are going to start uh, your farm. Uh, most of you people uh, or farmers uh, go to the markets. Uh, from the onset, I want to uh, discourage this, that uh, markets are not good places uh, to get uh, parent stock, especially if you are looking at uh, starting a farm. Uh, for the reasons uh, that I'm mentioning here below, one is uh, I'll give an example that, dear farmers, if you had a flock and uh, you have this goat that usually has miscarriages, that is usually sick, uh, isn't it the first goat you'll run to uh, as you take to the market for sale? So uh, imagine uh, a combination of these uh, diseases uh, in the market that you are going to buy uh, in a bid of uh, starting your flock. So from the onset, I encourage you, dear farmers, if you want to get breeding stock, to renowned farmers and breeders uh, who are doing the farming practically. And uh, for your own information, as uh, we employ these digital systems, most of the people have traceable records. It should be good that when you are buying a goat, at least you have a record uh, about this goat. Uh, this will take me to uh, speaking something about uh, crop size. Yeah, so I want to demystify this uh, element of crop size. Crop size is uh, uh, where you get the number of kids at the farm. For instance, you have come to many farms. Uh, to buy goats, and uh, we normally do natural synchronization where we have uh, a particular number of goats giving birth in a specific period of time, looking at season, of course, targeting the dry season, but also uh, periods when we have some time off uh, at the farm. So, uh, to understand uh, the crop size of the farm, you get the number of kids at the farm divided by the number of mothers uh, times 100. And uh, I'll give a, a, a physical example. Uh, for instance, if you have uh, 100 mothers at the farm. So the, crop, the minimum crop size is going to be 100%, basically. Because you are going to get 100 uh, goats divided by uh, 100 mothers times 100, which is going to be 100. So for you to be able to get uh, breeding stock from this farm, you should ensure that at least this farm has the uh, crop size of 120%. Uh, percent. And uh, the reason is because uh, at least you are sure that these mothers, these 100 mothers, have been able to produce uh, a minimum of one kid. And the fatalities are within the 10% mortality rate. Because at the end of the day, uh, when you go to the farm and the mothers are more than the, the, the offsprings, then there is a likelihood that maybe the vaccination shed is not being followed, and so some kids are dying. The kid management uh, strategy is not clear, and you have uh, fatalities of the kids. So going forward, uh, this farm is not ideal for you to uh, get your breeding stock. So these are pointers and many others uh, to show you, dear farmers, uh, that we need to take goat farming to another level with the right breeds, even if they are local breeds that we outsource. Please go to the farmers 
there are people doing uh, these good breeds with good traits, uh, triplets and and, and uh, twins, uh, with even our locals. So imagine you cross this because the whole art uh, of goat farming is in cross breeding. Imagine you cross this with uh, a boar savanna, where you have your kids uh, growing very fast and you achieving the multiplier effect and the revenues that you require. So, food for thought, dear farmers. Get your animals breeding stock from farmers themselves so that farmers can build farmers. Thank you so much.